Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to do problem in dynamics using the momentum equations. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Oh yeah, okay guys, so this is actually a really easy problem. I got a very similar question on my fee exam. Um, yeah, so let's, let's get to it. So we have two balls, both of mass have four kilograms, they collide head on. The velocity of each ball at the time of the collision is 4 meters per second. The coefficient of restitution is 0 0.5. And we want to find the final velocities of the balls, meters per second. Um, yeah, so I put here some concepts, very important to remember, because sometimes they actually give this as a conceptual question. So when two balls collide, just remember guys, momentum is always conserved, but energy is only conserved when the restitution is equal to 1. And you can even remember this just by, uh, if you go to page 80, they actually tell you if E is equal to one, which is the restitution, you have energy conserved because we have perfectly elastic. If you have E is equal to zero, you have perfectly plastic, no rebound, but your energy is not conserved. But remember, momentum is always conserved, okay? So um, yeah, so that's the concept here. So whenever you have like two objects that are colliding with each other, and you want to find the velocities, uh, just always remember of momentum equations. And if you are giving the E, which is the restitution, that's another hint that you need to use the momentum equations. And a lot of times in the FE exam, you actually need to use the momentum plus the restitution equation. So let me go over those a little bit. So if you go to page 79 here, you will see that you are giving the momentum equations. So these are the equations I'm talking about. Uh, M1 V1 plus M2 V2, those are for the initial, which means before the impact happened, before any sort of collision happened. And then M1, whenever you see V prime or V2 prime, that's after the collision, after like they collided, the two bodies collided. So these are uh, the equations you we're going to use for this problem. And then the next one is we have the E, which is the restitution. Uh, so they also give you here the equation for it. So V2 prime, whenever you see prime, that means it's the act after the impact. Whenever you see just V1 and V2, that's before uh, the collision or before the impact. Or initially, that's what the initial velocity is. Uh, so yeah, this is it. So let me write the equation down and then we can start solving this problem, guys. Okay, guys, so this is the equation. As I mentioned, this is initially, this is after the impact. So the mass, mass one and mass two are both equal. So they're just going to cancel since they're equal, right? They're both four kilograms. Okay, the next thing is let's start substituting. So note that we were giving the initial velocity of the, the two balls. So they both were moving at four meters per second. But you just got to be careful because if these balls are actually going to collide, they can't be both going four meters per second. Uh, and then collide, right? They're not going in the same direction. So one of them is probably going this way and the other one is probably going this way. So this one is going to have four meters per second, but this one is going to be minus four meters per second. So this is where you gotta be careful, right? Because if they're both going with the same velocity, four meters per second, the collision won't happen if they're going in the same direction, but they have to be opposite of each other for that collision to happen. So now let's substitute these numbers here. So V1 is going to be four, uh, V2 is going to be minus four, and then we have V1 prime plus V2 prime. Now note guys, it doesn't matter which one you pick. I could have still picked V2 to be the positive number and V1 to be the negative velocity. The only problem is that whatever you pick, just make sure you use that same sign convention as when you use the restitution equation. So if V2, uh, it's going to be the positive number. Make sure V2 here is the positive number. But other than that, it doesn't matter which one is V1 and which one is V2. Okay, so if I calculate this, 4 minus 4 just gives me 0. So I have 0 V1 prime uh, plus V2 prime. So now we're kind of stuck. We can't really solve this. But when you have two unknowns, you know we, we need two equations, right, to be able to solve this. So let's call this equation 1 and let's get equation 2. So equation two, we're going to get it by using the restitution equation, right? So we have, let's write the equation down. 
Okay, so this is my restitution equation. E was given to, as 0 0.5, right? V2 prime, V1 prime, that's what we're trying to calculate for. Those are the final velocities, so I'm not sure what those are. Yeah, so now we got it. we know what V1 and V2 is, so let's substitute that. So I'm going to get V2 prime minus V1 prime equals 0 0.5 times. So V1, we said it's 4, and then V2, it's minus 4, so I'm going to have minus minus 4. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to have 0 0.5 times 4 plus 4, which is 8. So this is going to be equal to 4. So V2 prime minus V1 prime is equal to 4. Let's call this equation 2, okay? So now I have two equations, two unknowns. I can easily solve for this. Okay, guys, so in here what we can do is V1 prime is equal to minus V2 prime. And now I can substitute this equation in here. So I would get V2 prime. And then I have minus here, V1 prime we said is equal to minus V2 prime. So I'm going to have minus V2 prime here is equal to 4, right? So V2 prime plus V2 prime is going to be 2. V2 prime is equal to 4. So V2 prime is equal to 2 meters per second, right? And now, so I have one answer and I can go back here and then substitute. So I have V1 prime is equal to minus... V2 prime, which is minus two meters per second. That's it. It's really easy, guys. Really easy problem. Uh, shouldn't take you that long. Just make sure you practice. Uh, uh, yeah, so the answer is going to be, so we have two and minus two. The answer is going to be B. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next clip. Okay, guys, so that will be it for today. On the next video, we're going to do a problem on structural analysis. We're going to determine if a beam is stable or indeterminate or determinate. And we're going to review all those concepts. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you soon. A la prochaine.